Hello, chat. Okay, I think I see what you mean. Yeah, it's bugging on my end too. Um, like Discord isn't doing a ping either. I thought I fixed it, but you know what? That's okay. That's fine. It happens. It be like that. We can't always be winners. Hi, friends. Hello, hello. I just jumped in my seat. Did I scare you? I'm so sorry. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. We are going to be playing more Final Fantasy 16 today. I am very nervous. Very nervous. Very excited. Don't get me wrong. But our cry can't. But our cry counter skyrocketed in like 10 minutes yesterday. So I, I'm nervous, very nervous. The lo-fi music got me eepy. It's pretty comfy cozy, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna be right back. I just jumped in to quickly, actually, I don't know why. I need to go get uh, some cream. My hands are super, super dry and I don't want a game with really dry hands. But here's the going live tweet. Give it a retweet, give it a like, give it a reply. I'll be back in like two seconds. Actually, two seconds, I lied. I just remembered I have hand cream right here. Hello, Waldo. So we're good. Am I ready to cry more? No, I'm literally not. That fucked me up. No, because that literally fucked me up. I, I, man, like I kind of predicted that Sid would die. You know, like I called it, I called it, I did. But I didn't think it would actually happen. Like it felt right, you know, like based on like, you know, he's like the, the leader of like, or not leader, but oh God, what's the, what's the, what are the words that I'm looking for here? You know, he's trying to do the right thing. He's trying to save the people. He's for the people. He's, all, he's got all these great motives. He's leading it. There are no problems, whatever. He's funny, like not a care in the world, which means he has to die. That's just how that works. That's how that trope plays out, always. Oh man. I know I was bawling. Y'all couldn't really like, I mean, you saw my face, but like you couldn't really see the tears, I think. It was pretty bad. I was crying. But on that note, I'm gonna, I think I'm, I want to like increase the camera a bit. What do y'all think? Should I like make it a little bigger? Maybe like this? Maybe cut off some of the top. You know, I think I think that might be better. Got a little bit more me in there. You know, a little little bit more me, less atmosphere. Yeah. Oh, how's everyone doing? Hi, Arun. It's nice to see you. Hi, Perfect Calm and Kep and Dissatisfied. Hello, hello. Hi, Levids. Hey, K Buzz. I hope. The stream is online for you now. I hope you can hear me and, and all of that. Eskia, how are you? And City Streets, hi and hi, biggest fan. Biggest fan, you make me laugh. Do you know why? Because you reply to all of my content saying mer. I don't know what mer means. You just say mer and I love you. And it's kind of amazing. We got about 6% more Syrah, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I went to Electric Island yesterday, uh, which is a uh, music festival in Toronto. Um, they have it like every few weeks in the summer, basically. Um, and it was a ton of fun. It was a lot of fun. I went to just basically see, um, I wanted to see Mal P, missed him, unfortunately. I got to see a little bit of Noron Pure, Noron Pure, yeah. And then uh, closed it with Chris Lake and his set wasn't that good, but it's okay. I was with friends. And afterwards, uh, it was my boyfriend's best friend's birthday. And so we all went out for drinks and pool and stuff. Um, I didn't play pool. I don't know how to play pool, but I, I rooted them on. <laughs> I rooted my boyfriend on. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a fun, fun, fun evening. I got shit face chat. I woke up hungover. But it didn't last because I know how to take care of myself. But man, oh man, oh man. I can't remember the last time I got drunk like that. Honestly? I don't want to get drunk like that again. Hold on. Where's my, where's my music? YouTube. YouTube, hello. 
Is my internet just like shitting itself? Are we good, Chad? Or am I here? I got lifting shoes that are themed for themed after Tanjiro Kamado's cloak, but my knee is busted for no reason. Lifting shoes? What are lifting shoes? Like sneakers for going to the gym? Iconic though. Iconic. Okay, we're good. Awesome. Okay, I guess there's just gonna be no music, Chad. So let's I'll give y'all I'll give y'all the Final Fantasy music. Hold on. If this Oh, I see what the dilemma is. I see what the dilemma is. Here, we're just gonna hang out in here. Wait, where's the audio? Wait, why am I having, why am I having tech issues today? Where's my audio? I love this Doja Cat song. Like, what are you talking about, Devin? Also, hello, Devin. What is going on? What is going on? Why is there no audio? Can I just get one dub, please? Just one. That's all I ask for. That's all I ask for. Y'all hear it? You could. Oh, now I hear it. Now I hear it. Okay, we're good? Are we good? Can you still hear that or is it gone? Okay, there's a fucking echo in chat apparently. It's gone? Okay. So we'll just stay here then. <laughs> we'll just stay here and listen to Clive moan and groan. Oh. Man, honestly, I don't even want to have a just chatting uh, session. I just want to go straight into the game. Is that cool, chat? I have been excitedly waiting to play more of this game, honestly. I was sad that I had to take tomorrow off for obvious reasons. I was busy. But, man, all I could think about was playing more Final Fantasy 16. <sighs> Hi, Red. Hello. Wait, what do you mean you don't know? You don't know if it's, if it's okay? The fuck? I'm so tired though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty fucking tired. Like my sleep has been decent, but I've been I've been cooking chat. Okay, I've been cooking, I've been cleaning, I've been like living, breathing, and that takes a lot out of me, okay? That is a lot of work. Girl dinner. Oh my god. Girl dinner. <laughs> Oh, girl dinner is Gatorade and Molly. <laughs> That's my girl dinner. Back to distracting my nephews and nieces while their parents drink. Goodbye chat, bye Red. Have fun with that. Good luck. Enjoy. Be good. Who the fuck are you? Living? Cooking? Cleaning? I'm turning into a housewife. But like, I'm my own housewife, you know? And that's crazy to me. You're turning into me? I am. I literally am. Okay, I have a question. Does this game, like, not have other races? Is this game literally just humans? Like, white people? Are there no Elizen? Are there no Mikote? Is it literally just white heroes everywhere? I'm trying to be my own housewife, but it's hard. I believe in you. I believe in you. I know. It is very, very fucking hard. Wait. It is incredibly difficult, but once you get into the habit, easy. There's that one Moogle if you count that. You know what? I do. I do count that. <gasps> Did the Moogle die? Wait. The Moogle was in the hideaway when, like, they got invaded. Is the Moogle dead? Bro. Well, I mean, I'm not going to find out unless I move forward, but I'm scared to. It's even worse at all British, I know. As an Indian, that is my biggest fear. Alas. <laughs> we got plenty of spicy white people in the game, but that's not enough. 
<laughs> Chat, my stuffed peppers tonight? Gas. Oh, Devin, I want stuffed peppers. I mean, on Pepper's wedding night, I guess you could say that she was a stuffed pepper. Torgal counts? You know what? He absolutely does. He absolutely does. Fred, I did not think you were still in here. That's why I made that joke. Whereabouts in India am I from? I don't even fucking remember. For some reason, I can't remember the name of where, um, uh, like, what part of India my family was from. North India, though, if I'm not wrong. Bless Red's heart. Bless him. Bless him. Red one. Red one. That's all I can say. I'm good night warrior. Welcome. Welcome. Like, we're not gonna get biryani or garam masala, but at least we're getting paprika a little, I think? That's not enough, though! Come on, diversity team! Do better! Okay, so we've made it to the new hideaway. This is five years later, and Sid is fucking gonzo. Yeah, slay! Okay, let's talk to... J oh, look at my torgy wargy porgy for loogie boogie! I won't pet him! He's taking a nap! Let me pet the poopy! Uh, I'll fine. I want to know what happened in Cosmos. I expect he'll be in the mess. Oh yeah, I forgot about that actually. I forgot about um that Clive is now using Sid's name, and we went to go rescue bearers, and they told us to piss off, basically, something like that. That purple or that purple. Thank you for the two month reset. I appreciate it. Just enjoy your weekend. That's good. I am too. My day was, my day was pretty good. Um, I was cramping really, really badly, but I went to a cute market with my partner today. He picked up a really cute green um, bread box, and I got a cute ring. And actually, I got two. I'll show y'all chat. I got two. Actually, I could just stay here. What am I doing? I got two magnets that also double as pins, and they're pretty funny. Let me show you. The second I saw them, I was like, nice. My partner was gonna get one, and then he was like, actually, never mind, so I got it. Here you go, I'll show you. So, this one says, nice cock. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. And then the other one, this one speaks to me. This one is the representation that I've been looking for my whole life. It says, proud to be queef. Oh, sorry, autocorrect, queer. That's the representation that I need in my life. It's, it's so fucking good. It's so funny. I wonder if I can like, I'm in my office. I love it. I am so proud to be Queef. Ashley, hello, hello. Queef is the first thing I hear as I pop in. <laughs> what better way than to get blessed by a Queef? Am I right? Entman Bell, I'm good, I'm good. Can't pet the woofers? You're at a 10 game. I know, right, Borch? But actually, in like you can pet him. You can pet him as many times as you want in this game. But the fact that they're not letting me scratch his chin right now because he's taking a nap, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, Queef with no context? So I went to the Good Friends Market today in Toronto with my partner and we picked up um, some stuff. Um, I got a ring and uh, two magnets. Uh, one says, nice cock. And the other one says, proud to be Queef. But the Queef is a typo for queer. Jill so lovely. Jill is lovely. Jill is bae. Second, I'm just grabbing. 
Oh, I'm just back on my Gatorade bullshit. I'm drinking chocolate milk, but it's kind of upsetting my tummy. Dick, what? Thank you for the 28 months. I cannot believe you've been together this long. Me too. How are you? This is the best Gengar mode I've ever seen. Thank you. I know. I fucking love it. It's so good. Stacy is a fantastic artist, and the fact that her uh, her partner um, animated a bunch of the emotes that she like made for me for free for fun, like madness, madness. Is Queen Friendly Stream an appropriate stream tag? It fucking better be. Otherwise, I'm going to Bezos himself. Brave, thank you for the raid. How you doing? Chocolate Gatorade? No, 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 no. That'd be nasty. To be honest, I feel like the Gatorade is gonna upset my stomach too, but that's okay. Chat, Waldo ripped off my nail um, the other day. So now I'm wearing a Pikachu Band-Aid to protect myself. I saw the last time you streamed and immediately had to sub. Yay, that makes me happy. I love I love it when people love my emotes. That just makes that just makes me feel proud. <laughs> I'm sorry I've been absent for a bit. Work and baby have kept me from being around. That's okay. Look, listen, work is very important and babies are also very important. So I don't want you to feel like any obligation to be here when you don't like need to be. But I appreciate you coming back. It's nice seeing you. This is why thank you for the hundo queer biddies. Or should I say queef biddies? Thank you. I'm all right, Brave. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm like pretty tired, but I'm very excited to just play more Final Fantasy 16, honestly. I'm excited to explore Hideaway and to figure out like what's going on, like what we've missed in the last five years. We have a five year time, uh, time skip right now. Harassing your community is my job. I know that's why I hired you to be my mod. Black Sheep, hi, hi, hi. It's a canon event. How are you? I kept the sub of the whole time. Cannot abandon my queen. You love to see it. Wait, what the fuck did Jill Roger say? Want to know oh, right. And Costness, right. All right, let's see. We're going up. We're going up. Yo, this moves kind of fast. Bro, I would get sick. I would get a tummy yummy ache. Borch! Watch, thank you for gifting five community subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you're about your molds and your stay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Hi, presently here. It's nice to see you. Hello. I cannot abandon my queen or my queef. Oh my god, you're a queer queen who queefs. That's me. That should be, like, the description for all of my streams. <laughs> you can't spell queer folk without queef, a fucking men. Don't harm me! <laughs> How do I time out a streamer in their own stream? Just message Jeff Bezos and get him to ban me. Gonna get that tattooed to be honest, my queer queen of queeps. As you should. You gotta get Syra Spooks in like, or not even Syra Spooks, just Syra in like big, beautiful, bold, gothic lettering. And then beneath it in a really small font, my queen, my queer queen who queeps. I'm your Q cubed. Q Q Q. Correction, message Andy Jassy. Okay, but it's funnier if you say Bezos. Because fuck that man. I'm EP or EP? Yo, look, we're all EP. You can be EP with us. Q cubed. Isaac's uh, favorite Pokemon is Cyndaquil, and he always names the Cyndaquil Q. And in his home, he has a um, he has a massive plushie of a Cyndaquil. Well, not massive. It's like life size, I guess you could say. A uh, life size plushie of Cyndaquil on a like Grecian column. And his name is Q, and he's just queuing about. So also saying Q cubed makes me feel like I'm dicing him up to put him in soup or something. 
Can I get side tattooed on me? But it just looks like a wet spot on my bed sheets. What does that mean, Devin? Devin, I don't know what that means. You've been up since 5 a.m.? Oh, Aw, that was me yesterday. Yesterday, I basically, like, pulled an all-nighter because I only slept for, I think, like, three hours, I want to say. Well, not last night. Like, the night before last night. It was, like, pretty bad. I got, like, zero fucking sleep. Awful. Oh, my God! That cynical emote is so cute! Oh, that is such a cute emote! Cyndaquil is a cool Pokemon. I fucking love Cyndaquil. I fuck with Cyndaquil. Chad, I gotta go. Yeah, banned. Devin's kind of weird. Devin's kind of being weird. You gotta explain yourself, boy. You gotta explain this wet spot. I'm furiously taking notes about this tattoo I'm about to get. Oh, man. We all just start getting coven tattoos. I'll just have to give a shout out to the number of Discord notifications I have. It's a perfect 777 angel number. How do you have that many Discord? Actually, you know what? How many do I have? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. You know what? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about how many notifications I have. I'm just going to play this damn game. All I feel like my- are oh. suspended until further notice. Yes, Captain. I'll let the others know. I feel like my angel numbers are, are like 333, three, because three, I see the number three everywhere I go. Sorry, thank you so much, Brisa. I appreciate it. Like 13K, look, it's above 1K. We'll leave it at that. I have to admit, Sai, I'm still very sorry I didn't get a plushie. I'm still thinking about it all this time later. I know. I'm sorry, Dickwood. I'm sorry. All right. Oh! Nectar's alive! You're wondering what this new board is behind me, aren't you? All in, uh, all in good time, my furless friend. All in good time. Oh my god, the Moogle's alive! The Moogle is safe. The Moogle is safe. The Moogle is safe. The Moogle didn't die. Oh, oh! I want to squish him. I want to poke his belly. Look at him. Look at his little hands. Okay, whoever like designed Moogles, they deserve like the world. I don't know. I don't know like where I'm going with this, but God, I fucking love Moogles. They're so goddamn cute. So damn cute. He lives. He lives! Play enough Final Fantasy games and you will see every three digit, three to four digit number you you look for. What does that mean, dissatisfied? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Alright, let's speak to Otto. Oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Koopka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Oh, yes, Not Koopka. Not one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Map room? Who's this? Oh, is that Karen or Still Sharon? Can't that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Chat, I just heard an echo. Where did that come from? Did y'all hear that echo? Ray, think of the 11 month resub. Hello, Ray. Hello, hello. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, we're good. Let's speak with Vivian. Who is Vivian? Fuck. Hi, Aaron. Hello, how are you? It's nice to see ya. Welcome back. Let's figure out who this Vivian is. Trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. 
I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. Oh, I'm in so, love. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, Could I'm in love. You come for one of my lessons. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Girl, I don't know! I'm trying to Long figure that out. Breaks dominion over northeastern storm has endured. Recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder? Walud, Yaran. I like these names. Well, Walud still makes me laugh, but. <laughs> you were born in Twinside. Do not fear for your home. Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet, in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. even. She's giving me history lessons? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was um, adequate. So I you're telling me to visit our resident historian. So you're telling me like these side quests are they're not side quests, but like this MSQ chain of quests. Ow. Um, it's gonna like recap the last five years for me. And now I have to like I have to be able to focus. You know how difficult this is for me. <laughs> Not much, Ray. Not much. My fingy is hurting. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Ben. Just want to say you're awesome. Thank you. So, oh, God. Sorry, are you planning on playing Baldur's Gate 3? It's honestly the only game I've ever played that is horny enough for you. And I mean that as the highest compliment. Wait, I'm I'm taking a screenshot of that message. Um, but yes, don't worry. I do plan on playing Baldur's Gate. I want to start it when I finish Final Fantasy 16, but honestly... Honestly, I think I might just start it next week. And we'll just play both. I want to play it so freaking bad you don't understand. I have such bad FOMO right now. Everyone is playing it except for me. <laughs> and I played the alpha and the alpha was really good. I played it like two years ago. I think a year ago or two years ago. No, I think it was two years ago. Something like that. So good. So, so, so good. I'm looking nice and cozy. Thank you. That was the vibe that I was going for. I didn't really feel like dolling myself up that much. I didn't really want to do like a... Like a big, elaborate, like, woo, stream. Just something like a little bit more chill. I mean, obviously, it's not that chill because we're playing FF16. But, you know. Do you, uh, do you speak Urdu or Hindi? Unfortunately, no, I only speak English. Hi, Ken. Hello. 
I've fallen for it too. Love me some military stratagem talks to get me in the mood. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. <laughs> Hi, Master Blue. Hello. Yes, I did just screenshot your uh, your message. I will be using it for content. Thank you. <laughs> I keep catching brief footage of Baldur's Gate 3. I just don't know what's going on. It looks pretty though. Yeah, I don't know what's going on either, but like that's like the best part, you know? Master Blue, thank you for the six month resub. The hair over the shoulders is a big vibe. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get some over here as well. Get my fluffy mane out there, yeah? Honestly, I feel like there needs to be more head above me or head space above me. It just like. I know I, I adjusted it, but like if I, I feel very confined now. <laughs> oh, it's okay though. Maybe I should maybe I should just make me a little bit bigger. I see some streamers with like these massive ass cameras, and I'm like, why? But you know what? Like I kind of get it now. <laughs> maybe this. Maybe. Is this good? Is this okay? Look, we could all use some more head. Okay, we could all use some more head. I could. <laughs> I could. You see all you want to tag me so I can see those else to be honest? I got you, don't worry. Baldur's Gate 3 is good. Played it for almost 10 hours yesterday. Whoa, that's gonna be me. I just know that once I start playing that game, it's over for me. Y'all will never like see, well, I mean, I will be playing Final Fantasy 16, but you will never see me like play anything else probably. I'm very nervous because I had this bold idea to do sub goals for the game. And if we hit a sub goal, I can't like refresh my saves. Like I ha even if I, if I fuck up, I have to keep going, which is horrifying to think of. Baldur's Gate 3 isn't on the PS, Five yet? No, I don't think so. I'm not entirely sure. Um, all I know is that you can play with a controller, so if you want to play it on PC, at least it's like, you know, controller compatible. R.A.P. Pepper. Look, I'll be playing as Rayanera, who is my overall OC. Um, when I was younger, Rayanera was a Dragon Age OC, and and she also had a alternate version of herself in Skyrim. Uh, she has a version of herself pretty much in every single game that I play because she's literally just me, um, but a little bit more chaotic um, and obviously with a different name. Uh, Pepper was supposed to be, was was originally going to be kind of like that, but then I was like, nah, this is going to be a different OC. She's going to be one of a kind, you know, she'll be a happy girl. Like with how it looks, I feel like I don't want to play it until I have a 4K setup. Honestly, my PC will not be able to handle the Baldur's Gate graphics. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to like, well, it's not that I won't be able to handle it. It's just I don't know if streaming it will be smooth. My internet in this building is not that great. Oh, no, you're pretty chaotic. No, 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 no. Like she is like chaotic. She so in the fan fiction that I'm writing spoilers, but we're not going to get to this point for a very long time. But she kind of goes through like a Daenerys arc, you know? So she she doesn't have the best, the, the happiest of endings. I'll put it that way. I do write fan fiction. I write Dragon Age fan fiction and I will be writing Final Fantasy 14 fan fiction as well. I think you could do Command AO3 in chat and my uh, the link to my AO3 should pop up. I honestly, like, there are days where I do really miss writing fanfiction and um, being a part of, like, a fandom and stuff, but it's just uh, too much too much pressure, and not everyone is super, super nice, so it's, it's fun to just, like, do things at my own pace and not have to, like, you know promote it the way that I used to you know I'm not doing it for anyone anyways I do it for me but you know I don't really have anyone to gush about it that much there was an air display in chat no are you back are you good I was dropping frames to say my PC is pretty chunky it's a big game it is a big game I um I didn't play it I only opened up the character creator 
and I'm so excited. But it loaded really, really well for me, but I just know that once I have OBS and everything also running, it's not gonna work out. Pro programmers reporting Baldur's Gate 3 to consoles we speak? Fuck yeah. My old Twitter got suspended though I made though because I made fun of Elon. Yeah, that is the Twitter experience. Ashley, thank you for the prime reset for eight months. Hi, sweet bean. It's funny you mentioned Dragon Age. I just started playing Dragon Age Origins for the first time. Oh my god, we have a Dragon Age baby in the chat! Oh my god, it's fun so far. The only disappointing thing is that Morgan is a male-only romance. It's so homophobic of them, for real. I know. <clears throat> Trust me. Listen, I am not a fan of the sexualities for some of the characters in the entire Dragon Age series. There are some characters that are straight who definitely should not be. Like, some of them are just like, realistically, they would never be straight. They would not. Um, you'll be happy to know that every character in Dragon Age 2, uh, they're all bisexual, so you can romance whoever the fuck you want. So, you don't gotta worry about that there. <sighs> but yeah, no, and Alistair is straight? Like, come on. Yes, he is, but also he's kind of like, he's got bottom, he's got bottom energy, you know? Yo, Fastball, hello, hello! I'm really glad that you're enjoying Dragon Age Origins. It's a brilliant game. It's definitely a little bit outdated in terms of like um, the uh, controls and stuff, but the the writing, the narrative, amazing. Fucking so good. I still want to do a full replay of the Dragon Age series on Twitch. I think closer to the launch of Dreadwolf, I'm probably going to do that. I'm very excited for Dreadwolf to come out. Oh! I hope it comes out next year. I'm... Ugh, I want to play. What about Inquisition? Pretty sure fully straight people didn't exist in that game. That's not true. Cassandra is straight. That woman is not straight. How is that a straight woman? Colin is also straight. How is that a straight man? Josie is bi. Iron Bull is pan. Sarah is a lesbian. Dorian is gay. Solus is straight. Um... Who else was there? Okay, Cassandra Strait. Wait, Cassandra Strait, Cullen is straight, Sarah is a lesbian, Dorian is gay, Josephine is bi, Iron Bull is pan, and Blackwall is straight. So there's that's like four straight people, I think. Wait, I'm, I feel like I'm missing two other characters. Oh God, who are the other romance options? No, I feel like that was it, actually. Yeah, Cassandra. Yeah, Cassandra is straight. She is the gayest woman I have ever seen in a fucking video game, and she's straight. It doesn't make it doesn't make sense, chat. I'm telling you, it does not make sense. I remember back in 2015, I was getting my best friend into the game, and she wanted to romance Cassandra so bad that she ended up just making a dwarven character, like a dwarven male. It's so disappointing. Hello, future friends. Hi, Lex. Hello, hello. How have you been? You know what? Hold on. Let me give you a little something, my friend. I hope that worked. You've been living life? Me too, brother. Me too. Did I get a diamond? You should have if I spelt your username correctly. Is it I-L-A-X-I-N-G? Or is it oh, with two L's? Oh. Now did I do it? I accidentally sent my friend a bottle of maple syrup as a birthday present. I just got a text today and all it says is I'm Canadian. I don't need this. How did you accidentally send them? Maple syrup pyro. You gotta walk us through that. But also, hi pyro, it's nice to see you. Hello, Baconator. Thank you for the six month resub. Do you think you'll be you'll end up playing Baldur's Gate 3? Yes, I will be playing Baldur's Gate 3. Do not worry. I uh I think I'm gonna start it next week. I I can't wait anymore. I think maybe like Monday we'll start it. Is that okay, chat? If on Monday we play Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> I want to play. I want to play. I want to I want to see the uh I want to see Asterion. I remember when I did the uh the alpha 
Um, I met, I think, I met the, oh, I think he was a mage and he did like a teleporting thing and there was Asterion and then there was Shadowheart and then there was the Githyanki. I don't remember how to, I don't remember how to pronounce that race, but oh, she's so fucking hot. I don't remember anybody else though. Lax, thank you for three months resub. Thank you, thank you. I feel that struggle playing dudes to romance straight ladies. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, man. It's a rough world out here. God, none of my band-aids wanna like stay on my stay on my hand. The story music is so good, I love it so much. I might replay it through through a few times to see what other backgrounds are like. Oh, and Origins? Well, what background are you playing right now? I've done Dwarven Noble. Um, Dalish Elf and City Elf. City Elf, I think, is my favorite. Um, well, well, no, the Dalish uh, origin is pretty good, but the City Elf one is really, really graphic. It, I think, that was the first one that I did when I first played Dragon Age Origins many, 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 many moons ago, and it fucked me up. It has the same level of intensity that like a Game of Thrones episode has and The Last of Us prologue has. Like it's that, it's that dark. Very good though. All right, let's see what this says. History of Valis Valisthian Jurisprudence, <laughs> the Continental Accord. The signing of the Continental Accord makes marks the beginning of the modern era of Valisthia, where the realm had once been Riven by hatred and mistrust, the Accord built bridges, affecting many of the areas of realm-wide cooperation that persist to this day. The shared currency, shared calendar, and common system of bear owner chief among its epoch-making epoch, epoch, epoch -making achievements. Alas, in the years since the Accord's signing, many of these old rifts have reopened. It is for us to follow in the steps of our forebearers and wholeheartedly endeavor to usher in a new age of peace and unity. I can't believe Square Enix got me this game. Like, they gifted me this game, and I still haven't finished it. Like, it's fucking August now. I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, where are we going? We're going this way. Ah, maybe this is why companies don't want to work with me. I'm too depressed. <laughs> I'm too depressed! Oh, Jill moved. Everyone seems so happy to see us. It's good to be home. She doesn't sound that happy. But wait, where's Torgal? Torgal woke up too. He's no longer there. Where's my poochie? Where's my little pooch pooch? Maybe I'll find him if I keep walking around. I love this music. It literally just sounds like Charlian. Okay. Does that one have blood on it? Ooh, ooh, look at that stuff. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Oh my god, has she always been smoking? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. I love her. Okay, let's see. Is there anything here that is gonna be good for me? Chandler's Whisper. Automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Increased limit break generation. Oh, increase it when taking damage or while dealing damage. That's kind of spicy. Lovely, dark, and deep. What's lovely, dark, and deep? Can I afford this? I can. I kind of, I kind I like the name of that. Lovely, dark, and deep. Okay. Should I sell Invictus? Should I just sell all the gear that I'm no longer using? Like, I don't. Like, I want to sell all these, but I don't know if I should. Because who knows, like, maybe it'll be useful at some other point, right? Okay, wait. Sell all valuables. Wait. Are these the only ones? Yeah, Gilbug and Black Blood. Okay. Nice. Is that all? All right. Let's go to the smithy. Ooh, I don't know what is going on, but the turns in this game are suddenly making me, like, giving me a headache. Back, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's, like, the area because it's brighter or what. So Maybe I'm still be. hungover. 
Is it depression or is it a massive game? No, it, it's depression. I, uh, I went through a lot uh, over the last couple of months and it was very hard to bounce back. Um, but I'm okay now. I'm doing two playthroughs. One is a female dwarven commoner and I'm going to do a male elf as my main, I think. Ooh. You should, you should, um, keep us updated in the Discord server. We have a little Dragon Age channel and I would love, I would love to know more about your progress through, uh, through Dragon Age. You gotta keep me updated. Basically, the website I ordered the syrup from auto-filled his dress and the website I bought the book from did the opposite. <laughs> So you, were you trying to buy maple syrup for yourself then? Oh, that's so funny. Honestly, though, that sounds like a pretty fun, um, fun gag. Like if if one of my friends got me maple syrup, I'd be like, yeah, wow, thanks. And the joke there is like. You just don't have enough. You just don't have the right kind. I know you're Canadian, but like it's mid. <laughs> but now I have book. What book did you get, Pyro? Okay, what weapon am I using? Most craftable. I don't want craftable weapons. I want to reinforce my stuff. Oh, can I not re- Oh, I can only reinforce like the normie items, huh? Okay, so nothing can be improved. Okay. Where's Torgal? This plank will have to be repaired. Nearly half the crates. I want to see my boy. I want to pet my boy. I know we got an MSQ to get through, but I want to see my puppy. Oh, she waved at me. I was so rude I didn't wave back. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to find Torgal, so I guess we'll just move on. Ooh, another copy of The Hobbit? Is it like a nicer copy? Post pics. Post pics in, a, in the Lifestyle channel. So that's Canadian? I am. I am Canadian. I'm from Toronto. I'm a waste man's. Okay. Let's go to the orchestrion. Apparently, we've got new music. Um, have we any more knuckle pie? What is a knuckle pie? Okay, so no, not this one. Not this one. Oh, apparently, we don't have any new ones. I got bamboozled. I guess it was just telling me, like, oh yeah, you can go talk to. Like, it's over here. Like, this is where it is. Like, go interact. Is Torgal in here? Oh, this is so cute. I love whatever it is these are. They look like they could be powered by magic. Wait, what did I just, are these books? The Sins of Zemeckis? Zemeckis? An Illustrated History of the Twins, volume five, four? Uh, Tales of the Founder and more Dolph. Olivier. Olivier? Is it Mort? Is it Morte? Is it more? Oh, this guy! I forgot about this guy. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. What have they just so been calling you, historian? I've forgotten it was mine. Hmm. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. On gods and men. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would <sighs> that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find... Oh, the creature. Are they talking about Ultima? I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. 
I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mm. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always oh, got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. But <laughs> Nectar's just fr Nectar's downstairs. The fuck you mean, Please brother? Seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. Mm. The loss of their parents weighs heavy Aww. on them. However well they hide it. Aww. Titan took oh, much sad. from us that night. Oh, yeah. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Slave will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Oh, I can go nap. Is Jill gonna come with me? Thoughts on Canadian bacon? I don't like bacon. Honestly? Not a bacon fan. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, oh, I was right. They did carve it out. A letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Is she hitting on him? Yo, I love her ponytail. I'm a sucker for for long Could ponytails. A letter. Mango, thank you for the 13 months resub. Thank you. Isn't Torgi by the elevator? I didn't see him. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Whoa, hey, whoa! What did I say? What did I fucking say, chat? What did I fucking say? She's in my chambers. She's in my bedroom. Wall of memories. The oath? Oh. 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 Created the day Clive pledged his allegiance to say this crystal shard transfixed between daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made of friendship forged and a legacy inherited. <laughs> That's. <laughs> And that's what Gav went to get, right? Like in the cutscene, like that's, that's that Gav ran into the room to get it to make sure it didn't get lost. Oh my god, I'm crying. I cannot, I cannot with this game. He did. He lost an item. Make sure to read it. Oh. Nah. Nah, that's not fair, man. That's just not fair. That's just not fair. I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> oh, God, that's so good. That's so good. Well, we only have one memory right now, apparently. So I'm assuming there are four more pivotal MSQ moments that are gonna make me, like, rip my heart out. All right, let's speak Otto with Jill. The letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. On my desk? Is this my little desk? This is my little desk. My little reading table. The reading table. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. The Republic's play. Yeah. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see you're done to wear upon my return. 
What does Gav have to say? What? Okay. The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. I sense a butt coming. <laughs> but look how far we've come. There All that is. we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. Yeah. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. The feather? <laughs> it was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. How are we having this conversation now, five years later? <laughs> if Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Cheers, chat. To a world without mother crystals. Oh! To a world without MILFs? To sit. To sit! Man, and the way that I fucking titled my stream, Do It For Sid, bro. <laughs> it's too, look, it's written in the stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, this fit! Slay! And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. Is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? No. No. Master Clive, a moment, if you. Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, oh. 
I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very How do you say that so cavalier? Like, she's gone missing. Don't worry about it, though. Well, I guess we go search for Martha. I guess that's the vibe. Well, Mango! Wait, did I already thank you, Mango? I did! Red! Thank you so much for the seven month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cry counter going crazy in a world without MILF. So I know. Well, why do you think I'm crying, bro? Oh, I have two entrances to my bedroom? Hmm, I don't know if I like that. <gasps> Never mind. It's just a balcony. Goblin coin? Wait, I can go sell that. I have a balcony, man. Do you think Jill and Clive have yet? Are they established yet? You know what? I'm getting the feeling that they're not yet. Can I do for you? I'm getting a feeling that they still don't hold hands. The goblin coin is only worth two hundred. No, that was the one that's worth a thousand. I think. I don't even. Where are my valuables? Is it in materials? Yeah. Oh, it's 800 and the other is 400. Okay, okay. Finished, are you? Slay. All right, let's see. What is the best way to get there? This way? Yeah, Torgal's gone. Where is he? Unless he's like upstairs? Can I go check? Upstairs. I wanna find my puppy boy. Oh, I guess downstairs. It's called trauma. Don't kill me. No, my puppy boy is... Where's my puppy boy? Wait, I thought Clive was going to take a nap. And then Jill had to interrupt us. And then we had wine with her. Jill, you fuck. Let Clive sleep. He needs to rest his boobies. World's worst slow burn. Get out. <laughs> His attendant is so fine. Joshua's, I know. She's very fucking pretty. Like, very pretty. And how may I assist you today? So is Vivian. Allow me to educate you. The state of the realm. By speaking with Vivian in the hideaway's map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current goings on in Velistia. Revisit any of the Nine Tales past lessons or take a deeper look at the relationships of those individuals in Clive's orbit. Well, I want to see the grand cast. Here you can view a detailed visual visualization of character relationships in Final Fantasy 16 that updates as you progress through the main scenario. Use L1 and R1 to cycle through pivotal milestones in Clive's adventure. Wait, this is so sick! Oh my god, the babies! The babies! The babies! Wait. He was like 17 here, right? Or like 16? 17? 16? I think. Damn! Clive is a, a man. Clive is a man. Persons of interest. Oh. Just to make it go by quicker. Sean, thank you for the 44... 44 months! Sean, thank you for the 44 month resub. I know Vivian is beautiful though. I think I'm simping for Vivian. The things that I would do. The things that I would do to be able to romance that woman. Give me an intellectual lady. You can't romance NPCs in Final Fantasy 14. That's why I had can and stuff. All right, so this is Clive. Oh yeah, so it was, he turned. He was his nickname was, or his code name or whatever was was Wyvern. Oh my god. Oh, look at that! Oh my god! Oh my god! You know, like I knew he got like a little bit more like grizzled, but seeing the difference here, yeah, 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 yeah. The hair is longer, his eyes are sleepier, his bearer's mark was like carved out. He's got the 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 mustache now, his like clothes are more like worn and torn, but the lace, those strings, they be keeping that shit together. Honestly though, like I still don't know why they haven't, like he's not wearing 
different like armor. Like why is he still wearing that? Oh my god. Oh wait, yeah, she was a princess. So born a princess of the Northern Territories, Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the duchy. She was raised in, Ro in Roseleth Castle. Right. Love her as a sister. No, okay, I see the way Clive looks at her. Oh, she's so fucking cute. Oh, I hate that they have her looking like that. I wanted to see like a direct uh, side by side. But I guess she does look the exact same. There really isn't a difference there. so fucking cool puppy oh my god oh my god look look at our boy look at our boy even he is more grizzled even torgal is more grizzled oh god look at the boongy look at the boongy because it was his dad's oh yeah it was his dad's armor oh yeah okay then you know what well then why didn't why doesn't jill have better armor why is she still wearing the same stuff God, Torgal is, like, literally so fucking cute. Like, I... Oh, I know I want to name my next dog Oswald, but what if I just name my next dog Torgal? Oh, he's such a big baby. He's such a big booby. Let's see. Oh my god, Ambros Ambrosia? Ambrosia? Aren't they dead? Clive's personal steed. During the attack on Phoenix Gate, she raced to Clive's rescue, saving him from certain death at the cost of an eye, a price she gladly paid. Oh wait, there is a chance that she still lives, right? Who's this? Rodney Mur- Oh yeah, Rodney, he was like his trainer, right? Trainer, you know what I mean. Um. Yeah, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Wait, what is this? Who are these? Sir Wade. Oh, these were the besties that he, uh... Did they die? Oh. They did. Oh, yeah, Tyler... Everyone died, right? Yeah! I forgot. Everyone died except for, like, Joshua and Clive, right? Something like that? This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be so f oh. Wait, no. Oh, wait, no, they made it out. No, they didn't. Yeah, they died. Wait. The mysterious stranger. I still, no, we did, we did cover that. The mysterious stranger, the the mysterious stranger that Clive was seeing was like himself, but like it was also Joshua though, like in the figure of Joshua. I don't know that it, that that was still. That's still like fuzzy in my head, but I think that's what the lore there was, right? It was, yeah, 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 it was a total Dark Knight slash Frey moment, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clive had to, had to confront himself and, 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 um, that's when he was able to, that's when we unlocked the LB. And he came to terms with the death of his brother and, and how he played a part and, and what have you, right? Yeah. Death in the Defile. What is what is this one? Now there's like a red thing? Oh, cause like that's who he was like fighting and stuff. Who he's against? He's got combat some shit. Combat? Like Okay. 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 Wait, so what does this mean? And what does that mean? Friend? Friends reunited. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh battle saves, rebels against. Icon battle manipulates slay. Sl 
display attempts to okay okay so if you zoom in it tells you exactly what all of these little like indicators are allies heals rescues friends reunited best friends they're not just friends they're best friends i'm gonna fucking cry fine hound oh and so these are like the titles that they have at this point Deserter. dominant of ifrit i love this i love this carries home lays to rest this is so fucking sick traveling companions and they were companions gives clothes yeah okay hates wait former lovers wait that fucking changed oh because then the we because as it progresses we, le we learn things and it's being documented here okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> deceased Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Rejects? Clive rejects him? Oh, because we don't let him, like, um, like, absorb our, our powers, right? Because that's what he wanted. Wasn't that it? Like, he got, like, Ramu's goods, and then he wanted Ifrit's goods or Ifrit's goods. I don't, I don't remember. Something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, oh, gives the power of remote to decline. Since so I. Oh, man. It fucking hurts. It fucking hurts. <laughs> Mortal foe. I'm like. I... Bro, this game. The this state game. of the realm is ever changing, Clive. Oh, the little, it's like the little things, you know? Like, they don't need to put that much into, into it. But just, that gets me. That gets me. I love the way that they're, they're really honoring Sid's sacrifice. Even though it's been, like, five years. Like, it, it wasn't done in vain, you know? So good. So good. Ultima wants Clive something. You know, Clive is a special boy and all that. Don't we all want Clive something, though? Don't we all want him? <laughs> Alright, let's speak with Otto, yeah? What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished. Without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Mm. Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, you think she got kidnapped? Its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. Mm. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Okay. New quest available nearby. Oh, time to pick up side quests. Wait, is that Jill? When the fuck did she get there? Martha is a survivor. We'll find her. Wait, I got a side quest now. Is it Taria? No, it's not. Where is she? She's pretty. I don't know much about her apart from her being like a healer. I don't know what other purpose she serves. Not that that she not that she needs to. I just like I, that's all I know of her. 
She just heals. Wait, where are my side quests? I said I had new side quests. Did I have to like talk to the wall? The reading table? No, they, they would tell me if I had mail, right? Let's see. I don't see a green hubba blue popping up anywhere. Do y'all see any exclamation marks? I don't. Maybe I. Maybe it's the notice board. That does feel like a um, like a quest giving thing, or like maybe I, I can hunt. Oh, oh! I see it! I see it! I see it! Oh, it's down here. Okay, let's go pick that up. <laughs> she's a healer. She's a baddie. End of story. Boom. You can check the map. I could, but it's not as fun. Checking the map is great and all, Finish but in the real world, do you think that's what Clive is doing? No, he's running around looking for people that need help. What's up, boatman? Damn blighted bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. <laughs> that's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tart. I love how everyone is just roasting it this might kid. Scrape off the rock for a moon or so, assuming we had any pitch, which fuck Tech and his fucking lemon tarts. <laughs> Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. I got Everest. you, bro. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, well I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in <laughs> the Deadlands. Well, I guess that's why now, it's called the Deadlands. Well, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere, which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot might be enough to tide me over sounds easier than felling a faraway forest that's for certain cock and ball this quest you're joking square enix square enix square enix i would like to have a word I would like to have one word. Cock and ball? <laughs> You're telling me this man with all his damn holes just gave me a quest called cock and ball? Talking about sticky sap. Oh my God, or sticky wax. Bro, them cock and balls about to be covered in that sticky ooey gooey. Alrighty. Well, I gotta slay in thorny thistles. God, I read that as horny thistles, and I'm glad I corrected myself. And that's so good. That's so fucking funny. Not cock and ball. <laughs> the localization team for this game? No, they slayed. Just like the localization team for FF14. They killed it. It's so funny. But cock and ball? Brother. Volunteers, just say the word. My brother. Wait, find the curse breakers. And are you gonna make me open up my map? They made me open up my map. The world map. All right, so we have to go here and here. Um, where should we go first? Should we do the side quest chat or should we just do some MSQ shenanigans first? Do we do cock and ball? 
<laughs> oh, it's the same team? A uh, fucking amazing. A uh, fucking amazing? Fucking amazing. A uh, fucking amazing. Hi, Happy Pity. How are you? How are you? Captain, hello! Black and hi! Oh, hello, Urban Serpent. Hello, hello. Sorry, I'm just catching up with chat. Oh my god. Oh my god, my back. The deck ain't gonna wax itself. Hey, yo. Ooh, okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Let's do some cock and ball stuff. <laughs> Doing well, just relaxing with my pup. Nice. Stream has been good. I'm just relaxing with chat. Chat, do you like relaxing with me? Are you having a good time? Are you struggle with me oh the gang's Easy here a forest, I said. oh god the thorny thistles we found them okay we're all being baby Oi. Got both. I did. I think this might be the last one. Oh shit! Oh, I forgot I had to move. Right. Okay. Okay. Ah! Jill, you fuck. Oh, nice. Nice. Enemy slain. Boom. Beauty. That was easy. I'm gonna turn in these. Cock and ball. Oh, yo, we got the pitcher wax. A, six, a sticky substance found in the pitcher of a carnivorous plant which thrives in the Rosarian lowlands. Um. I can think of another carnivorous pitcher um, that is littered with sticky substances. But it doesn't thrive in the in the Rosarian lowlands. It thrives in the Siren lowlands. I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. That was that was terrible. That was terrible. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I wish I could take that back. I need to get back into this game. I haven't played in years and they've added so much. This game just came out. This is Final Fantasy 16, not Final Fantasy 14. But you should go play Final Fantasy 14 as well. Not your best work. It definitely was not my best work, but you know what? I said what I had to say. I said what I had to say. And if you have a problem with that, back, then don't worry, you're not the only one. <laughs> Did you find me some wax? And I found you find some cock and balls it. too. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll oh. sail another day. But aren't boats and ships supposed to be, like, women? Like, aren't they all feminine? Fuck yeah, cock and ball got me 250 experience and it let me level up. Cock and ball, baby. That's the way to go. If you're trying to level up, if you're trying to boost your fucking attack, <laughs> your stamina, your guns, your powers, cock and ball is the way to go. Sponsored by the stag shop. <laughs> I got the badge of might. Fuck yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Cock and ball has given me the badge of might. My attack can be increased by 12. This is the way to go. 
All right, let me go to my items. Or no, gear. Let me put that shit on. Let me put that shit on. Boom. Wait, what else do I have? Oh, no. Okay, let's... Let's, uh, TP. Let's go to Martha's Rest. Let's go find Martha. Martha May Huvie, eh? Yo, way in the way to the dawn. How are what you? Happened here? Oh Come shit! On. We need to find the others. Oh, like it was like it was a Best full thing. We are for now, it was Let's not just like a bar fight, eh? Sid, what said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help, and it appears he was right. <laughs> you were. Uh could say that yes they're saying the imperials ascended like a storm no one was spared their fury oh my god shit martha tried to step in and calm things down but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march <laughs> any idea where judging by their tracks they headed towards sorrow <laughs> bay to the abbey sheltering martha's bearers the bastards jill and i will go after them you take care of the people here we will but, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Okay. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. Yeah, that's what culling. I'm saying. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. Okay, the orders would have had to have come from higher up. Oi, look sharp! Not me trying to fucking buy shit while the town is recovering. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I did not think it would be this intense, but I guess they're... I mean, I guess it can't be all la di da di da, right? Like getting me into the nitty gritty. I have, I've had too much peace. Okay. Well, let's go find him. Let's go fuck him up. Let's go to the abbey. What's up, B? What's up, B? Ooh. Ooh. I wonder which one, like, has, like, the strongest, uh, charge shot. Or maybe it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem like this one is very strong. Garuda's did a lot of damage, but I'm not sure if it's, like, because it was a wombo combo or what. Oh, I didn't actually want to do this, but that's fine. How do I, how do I fucking use it again? How do I use it again? Oh, I just hit it. I just hit it right. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, this is like, it's so interesting. All right. I'll get used to it. I wonder if I could do like, um, ability combos, like with, other abilities you know like um what would you call it like status combos elemental combos i wonder if i could do elemental combos oh shit there she is yeah are you hurt well Don't she's covered in blood me. it's them at the abbey who need you you have to do something tell us what happened what happened the damn black shields that's what happened the black shields the bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. So they're not all stone right I now? I think so. Thank you, Clive.
black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far. Even Clive took that personally. <laughs> Fasto, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, things different magic do different damage. I'm kind of disappointed by that. At least I haven't noticed. Yeah, it doesn't look that way, but the Garuda one seemed stronger for some reason, but I think it's just because of the way I was combining it. So our best friend had a hole in his chest. This game isn't going to be the most happy game. You're right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm expecting here. Our best friend had a hole in his chest and I killed my brother. Like... Whoa! Cl Stay down! Oh my god! My pussy. My... What was that, Clive? Clive, what was that? Ben Star, what was that? Ben put his whole Ben Nussi into that voice line. The fuck? I am listening. I am paying full attention. I was not talking to a monster there. Yeah, I was talking to his dick. Stay down, bro. We know Jill's here, but like, relax. We know she's hot when she fights, but like, chill. Chill to chill. He's <laughs> smoking this shit that made Ben 10. Don't get oh. old. There might still be someone inside. He says as the music stops. Clive, you absolute fuck ass. Didn't finish his snow. No. That's a lot of cocaine, bro. Damn it. So sad. I thought you lot were all spent. Mm. Murderers. They drove the best. Fuck them up. Fuck him up, fuck him up! Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch <laughs> of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. No, no, let him cook. Let him cook. I used that a little too close. Or a little too far. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. <laughs> God, that ability is so fucking fun. That voice line. That voice line is just so spicy. I need that as a fucking alert. Oh my god! Piece of cake. Is that all of them? I think so. Honestly, some of the uh, quest complete stuff is so funny to me. Is that all of them? I think so. Quest complete. Like, I'm glad you think that. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Mm, I'm gonna go and check in there. Can we go this way? Check in this room? Are we hiding out?
the abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. I thought it was the abbot. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. I feel like it's Are too late to do anything. Dead. They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Not I'm a cinnamon and I'm messing them up. Rosaria will never be safe unless we save her. I tried saying not. Ominous at all? To beg sin's aid. I did my best. I don't know what to tell you. This wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sin! Where are you? Sin! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's... yeah. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. <sighs> well, that was cheerful. <sighs> We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bears... They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. Are they in it there? Was their choice. Are, they knew the fate. Is that their? Them and chose to is that a sack of their, their dust? Terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Radix jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust to himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... What if we, like, snorted oh, them? Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Like, just out of curiosity, like, what would happen? You're telling- mortal remains- you're telling me Clive where did you put that Clive where did you put that big sack where are you hiding it how deep do your holes go they're like that one bag in D&D &D. fuck the bag of holding Clive's holes are literally like the bag of holding from D&D &D. you can just fit anything in there doesn't matter the size of it it just He'll make it work. He'll make do. Clive makes do. Clive girls make do. <sighs> Next to his other books. <laughs> uh. Clive's just shoving everything up his ass. And you know what? Good for him. Someone has to. Ooh, I want to fight you. Yeah! Oh. Rank C! Bounty! Wait! Ah! Let's fucking go! Notorious marks! Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade ex existing items. Oh, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Good joke. Doom? Oh no, look away! No! Wait! Oh no! Wait! What is this? Ah! Ah! <laughs> a 
Okay, so I guess I can't be in that. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess... Oh, shit. So will it hit me regardless? Is that how it works in this? Whoa! Oh, come on! Oh, wait, right, 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 right. I forgot. I have this. Okay. Let's see. Oi! Oh, yeah. Bro. Bro, I'm not dodging. I should be dodging. I read high level like enemies and I thought, nope, no thoughts, head empty. Stagger him though. No, my HP, brother. Thank you. Okay. So that's gonna happen regardless. Is it gonna is it spawn where I am? Yeah 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 okay. We fucking go. We fucking got this. Let's fucking go. Magic to ash and a meteorite. Slay. Slay. That was fun. That he did not see that coming. That was so fun. Look at his tongue. Look at him. Look at him. Torkoal, don't eat him. Torkoal, no. Leave him alone. That was so fun. I want to do more of those. I want to go find more... Uh, more big guys. Collect some bounties and shit. <laughs> Streaming means no back pain, so it's a good day. I, ironically enough, I actually had a lot of back pain. I was in lots of pain today, um, but I've, I'm feeling better now. So yes, yes. Now it's a good day. Now we're having a good day. Hello, Marks Batista. What's up? Good job. Thank you. Thank you. When you get half the enemy stamina, stamina meter down, you'll hear a chime. Use Guru's deadly embrace at that time. Here a chime. Use her. What is her fucking? What her deadly embrace? Oh wait. Oh, it pulls enemies in. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden. 
and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Perform the casting and turn to Martha's rest. See, like, I know I could just TP there, but now I want to see if I'm going to stumble upon <laughs> other big guys. <laughs> yeah, this game is currently only for the PS5. I'm sorry. That might change later down the road, but unfortunately it's only for the PS5 and it is also a solo game, I believe. So you wouldn't be able to play with me or any other friend for that matter. Now yeah, the combat in this game is really, really fun. I think that's what's keeping me playing, um, honestly. Okay, you know what? No, we're just gonna TP now. I definitely think that what is keeping me going with this game is the fact that the combat is so fun and so smooth. It is so satisfying to play. Best off staying where we are for Anytime now. I nail a combo, I'm like, fuck yeah. Or I get a precision dodge, fucking good shit. No one survived then. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Before he passed. One of them bad may tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. And that was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. Martha. How? You couldn't have known. Unless... But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. Mm. I cannot make sense of her actions. I can't wait to fuck her up. <laughs> and picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. <gasps> yeah. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Curse breakers? The, the strapping curse breakers? Is that a sex thing? What is that? Am I missing something? <laughs> There's a new quest. Is it this? What's the plus sign? I don't remember what the plus sign means. We're not to move. You're I'm repeating. Oh wait. You there? Well, don't just pass me by. I remember this man. I think. Are you handy with that sword of yours? Or maybe not. I don't know. You are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos. Yeah, the big cocks. <laughs> Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. Okay. They protect okay. travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. And 
nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back, looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then, D don't just stand there. Go and help them. Hey, I got you. <sighs> All right. There's a good I'm lad. great at dealing Where with I find these chocobos. I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. Hey. She's a hero to us locals. I, I got Don't you. Worry. I'll go take care of Whiteheart. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. Is she just good a big white chocobo? Like... No good bastards hey Vlad, what's up? Me. What's up? Oh, the arm guy's the hideaway? Oh, okay, okay. Is that why they're called Curse Breaker now? Because they're, you know, no longer wearing the bearer mark. That would make sense. White Heart. That's quite a name for a chocobo. I like the name White Heart. It does have a white savior energy to it, but... It's a chocobo, right? Ooh, item. Item, item, item. They put a kill in a jar. Oh, there's an item there. I want it. Why can't I go to it? The... Mm. Feather? White chocobo feather. A white feather. That's a big feather. I thought I mean, ambrosia they are was big. kind. Oh, apparently not. Oh wait. Speaking of brave birds. Unless. Looks like they went that way. Unless it is ambrosia. Wait. 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 <laughs> is this another thing that I've spoken to existence? I was literally just talking about the fucking chocobo. I cannot get over Clive saying that. Stay down. Like, yes, yes, I, I, yes, yes, daddy. Whatever you say, bro. Name another person who, who calls you daddy and bro in the same fucking sentence. I hate it here. All right, onwards. Oh my God. Are we gonna get a chocobo? Are we? Oh, these bandits. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. Oh my god! If it's Ambrosia and then we get a fucking chocobo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poop. I'm gonna poopy my pants. Oh my god! And it has blue eyes. Oh my god! It might be her. Have you cornered feathers. You feathers. didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business, but I reckon someone will pay good coin. To mount your head on their wall. Oh, nor. Oh, nor. <laughs> oh. And why is that, eh? I'm saver of the cops. She's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Oh, fire. It's off. Or better still. Wait, it's not Ambrosia How because Ambrosia has both. one eye. Wait, All unless. Right, can't see the other I eye. I, didn't warn you. I can't see the other eye. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Ooh, I wanted to use the other ability, but that is absolutely fine. Oh, did you get him? I did, I did, I did. Master healer. Oh, more coming? Doggos? Wait, that guy's dead? Okay. Man, I don't want to kill doggos. Who the fuck just... What the fuck?! <laughs> I was like, who fucking hit me?! <laughs> just, oh my god! I was literally just like, turns the camera! Holy shit. 
my god. safe now. White heart, I presume. <coughs> Do you know her, boy? She got, you don't remember me? Asuka. It couldn't be. See how you were getting on. Oh, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Can we take her home? Can we take them all home? Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> no, I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Oh, thank Reckon you. Our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like so her would have cost a princely sum. <laughs> you born a lord or something? Well... I, uh, <clears throat> oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you've done right by me. <laughs> what is it, girl? <laughs> she wants her master back, I reckon. <laughs> oh, they're all quick. You. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? <laughs> well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Are you gonna get me a saddle? For my, for my chocobo? Is that the sound of you putting a saddle on her? Handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe this you? This is my little pirate. A few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old Whiteheart. 
Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. <laughs> but she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, White oh. Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. <laughs> hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swore my car yeah, on the road, didn't you? No, I knew I remembered him. That can't be right. No, that was me. Must have been my double. Well, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. I think I appreciate that very much, so. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. You oh, take care of your flock for now. I'll they call you when I need you. They have saddles too. Ambrosia's tack, a bespoke saddle and blinders worn. My child, my Clive's child, Jocobo. Que. Que. They go. <laughs> Jocobo unlocked. Thank you very much. So. Oh. I have Jocobo now. Mount up. After 18 long years, Clive has found. 18. Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 while in the field to summon Ambrosia and X to mount the chocobo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at her. Does she just stand there? She does. Oh my god. I'm getting on. When you ride alone, I'm on my chocobo! I'm on my chocobo! Ambrosia. Uh, that's uh, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, Clive, but that's not really flying. Whoa, okay, chat. I mean, obviously, y'all know this because you've played this game, but when you're running around, when you like, like, start galloping, there's like resistance again on this, and you have to like, like, really push on it to get it going. And same thing for the reins, like, you gotta like. Whoa! That's so cool. Look behind you? What do you mean look behind me? <gasps> Jill! Jill is on a chocobo too! Why doesn't Torgal get one? Oh, I'm so sorry, girl. Why can't Torgal get a chocobo? There were three! There was enough for all three of us! <laughs> Can we go across the water now? No? Okay. We all have chocobos now. We all have chocobos. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'll oh, pick up this item. Yeah. I got clams. Got me some clams. Oh, man. Oh, man. That made me cry. That made me fucking cry, chat. Holy. All right, let's TP back to the hideaway. Holy, dude, this game, at first I was like, ah, this game, isn't that sad? It's not making me cry. I'm not emotional at all. Let's oh go. my God. And now look at me. Now look at me, chat. I am a fool. My makeup is like kind of holding up though, which like we love to see. <laughs> Try to jump and hold X from a hell. Okay, I'll try that later. I still don't know where Torgo is chilling. By now. Ah, uh, because like my dog ripped my finger, my finger, my nail off every time I accidentally jam the finger. It like hurts. I, this I really hope my nail grows back quickly. I mean, my nails normally do, but oh yeah, this is where I can like practice and shit, right? Wait. 
Replay any previously cleared stage. <sighs> Wait. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with that. All right. <gasps> hey, Gav! Let's see how Gav is. Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. I missed that voice. Where's my report? What? No kind words for your old pal Gav. <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in oh, the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. Time to gossip, so, bestie. You oh shit, how my camera fell. The empire was to occupy the dominion after the fall of Drake's head. And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. Chat, are y'all beating your shields tonight? They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Now's our chance. Now's our chance. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. Okay. <sighs> With the bull. Why are they called that way? Is the map in the shape of like a dragon? Like, like, I, like, I, 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 I want to read these. I do. <laughs> But I'll just let the, the story tell me myself. But like, it's just a funny, cute name, I think. I think it just sounds cool. It, well, it does. It definitely sounds cool. I love it. But it's like, I, f I feel like there's got to be some merit to it. Like, l let's, um, <sighs> like, let me draw this out. Let me draw this out. Even if the map doesn't look like a dragon, okay? Let me cook. All right? So, so let's say, let me cook. Okay, so let's say that this is the map. Okay, let's say that this is the map. Okay, um, I would like so north, south, east, west. So maybe it's like. Because there's, like, one nation here, right? Like, there's, like, the twins or whatever. There's... There's... There was something here, something here, and something there. And I think there was, like, something else here. Or may maybe it was just those, right? So, like, this would be the head. That would be the tail. And... This would be the boob. This would be the, the butt the back and the tummy. You know what I mean? Like do you think like that's why they're named in that way? Like maybe they like maybe the like the the map doesn't look like a drake, right? Um it doesn't look like the Toronto rapper. But <laughs> but maybe like in terms of the position of the nations, whatever like imperial ground or whatever is in that like 
in in there. I don't know. Oh, this is because the breath and the head are so far apart. Oh, okay. Well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> There goes my, my, my lore debunking. <laughs> I just wanted to feel smart. <laughs> I guess maybe, maybe it is just pretty then. Maybe they had like a meeting and they had to vote. It's like, well, I want this one. I want to be called this one. You know, or maybe they all have to like choose like the longest stick, you know? <laughs> Oh, Square Enix, hire me. Let me help you develop cool lore. I write fan fiction. I know what I'm doing. And I play D&D, okay? <laughs> Ooh, part of the religion. Has more to do with what they look like? Wasn't that what I just did? Dragon is part of the religion? Yo, dragon is part of my religion, the too. the Republican army marching to Twinsite, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kuku would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. Me too, brother. Clinton support is older who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? I love her. <laughs> Alright, I'm fucking I'm fucking ready. Let's fuck some shit up. Wait, what? Why are they longingly looking at each other? <gasps> what is this montage? Otto's counter is now open. Oh, bounties? Perchance? Looks like it. Those look like bounties. Um, the following hideaway facilities are now available. Alliant reports, the patrons whisper, and the hunt board. I'm excited. Got more things to do now in this game. What are we waiting for indeed? We got another quest available. How do I get to that quest? Where is that? The backyard. The rear stacks. Okay, we gotta go this way. I think it's all right to touch him. <gasps> oh, Torgo! There's oh, my boombi! Here you go fast. There my boombi! There my boombi! He's not gonna do anything to you. It's okay. You can you can touch him. He good boy. He's very good boy. This boy is just playing with his cock. Chocobo, chocobo, why can't you fly? What good are your wings if you can't reach the sky? Flap harder, says bluebird. Flap harder, says crow. Flap harder, or into the oven you go! Jack, you better not be talking talking about that cock that way. Oh my god. Amateur twitcher? Yeah, me too. I too am an amateur twitcher. Did you come the force today? All right, so oh, have I lost the quest? I don't know where I'm going, Chad. And you say Sid built this base? Oh, maybe it's this way. Perhaps they're old enough for this. No, I went the literal wrong way. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's down here. 
Oh, I see. I see. I just... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I know where I'm going. <laughs> Drake's breath is in a volcano place, for example. Oh, like... <gasps> Wait, that makes sense, though. Drake's breath. Fire, explosion, volcano. All right, I fuck with it. It's, it's making sense. <laughs> The Hopeless Romantic? Have I met the Hopeless Romantic? No. Do you do all the side quests? Yeah. It doesn't take that long. Oh, it's the botanist. See, I am was open to speak to you. Right, he's cute, so he needs some lip balm. Oh, yeah, he's just... Well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Well, after she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. Bro, I don't know Ponto was in this it game. Ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers. On account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Don't worry, Ponto, I got you. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. She's near the infirmary? You hear that, Martell? In the hideaway? Today is finally the day. All right, I can go try finding her. Ah. Oh my God, my back is hurting. I know y'all were hyping me up for not being in back pain, but phew. Okay, where is the infirmary? Oh, all the way over there? Okay. Oh, I'm getting a wave of sleepy. Oh, I'm getting a wave of sleepy. I was hoping I could like burn through this game today. <laughs> Fudge. Come through the forge today. I'm so tired. Chad, I'm so tired. I've had such a chaotic like last few weeks, and I'm so glad it's finally like come to an end. No more benders. No more back-to-back -back benders, and I'm so happy. I saw that wave hit you in real time. Listen, is it her? <gasps> Asta. There was a time I only had eyes for Otto, but then I saw the light, and his name is Cole. That way he looks at you like a frightened fawn who's lost his mother. Oh, if. Only I could shoot an arrow through his heart. <laughs> um. Please don't shoot an arrow through his heart. Please don't do that. Let him live. Please. <laughs> Clive, there you are, Koopo. I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, yeah. Nectar? You have? The matter is this, Koopo. The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. And I'm gonna Just go because fuck they can't them all. be dealt with when fuck they're them up. Fuck them, fuck them all up. Doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. <laughs> Was that what you wanted to know? Of course not, Koopo. I knew that already. That's why I need your help. As I need not remind you, Koopo, I am the mightiest of, the, of all the Moogles. No! Are you going to slay them all? Okay. I don't know what I just said, but I will. Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. But with the blight and the war, the last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then I perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Oh, thank you, Koopo. It's so good to have found someone who understands me, Koopo. 
I'll stay here then and keep an eye on all the billets that get posted on the board. If there's anything you need to know, Koopo, I'm your Moogle. Oh, Koopo indeed. So I already, I already fucked you up. Oh, 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 I just have to go look for them. Clairview and the Broken Hilt. Um, maybe I'll spot them. So Mathers got updated ah, law. My favorite pupil. Allow me to favorite. educate you. I'm your favorite. Here you are. The situation map. Here you can view a detailed overview of current and past events relevant to Clive's story that updates as you progress through the map through the main scenario. Hmm. Oh wait. Oh oh I fucking love this because I have the memory of a literal goldfish. This is fucking fantastic. Th oh, this is amazing. It'll literally keep me updated on like this literal like MSQ like progression. Love. Of course. Thus ends today's lesson. Really cool. That is super super neat. Okay, so what are these? Oh, Clive. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. What the do you do? Whisper. Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh, no. That's still me. It's just Karen has a toll. Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. <laughs> I still catalog every item that arrives in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Yes, please. Come to claim your just desserts. Oh, I have a few. Uh, completing side quests will earn Clive renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Visit Desiree at the Patron's Whisper in the Hideaway's Mess. Da -da -da -da. Talk of the Tea House. Your merry band of outlaws and a stashing deeds of dare doing are all the talk amongst the ladies of the court. We have gathered th together several items of worth that you might continue your gallantry. Heart struck dowager. Thank you. Ooh, and ability points? Slay. You earned this. Damn right I did. Respect. Our order is one built on pride, but that does not mean we are too proud to give thanks where thanks is due. We may have failed Martha once, but never again. The Blood Axes. Thank you for the meteorite. Right. Hmm. Have to get a renown rating of eighty-five. Berserker ring. Okay, Come cool. So the more I do you. side quests, so I get like extra rewarded for doing side quests. I love that. Yo, what's up, Fabian? You two look like you could use something to eat. Yeah. Courtesy of Martell. Martell's apples. Martell's apples. Martell. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Cool she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> Sounds like my mom. I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Honestly, I get so, like, teary-eyed when they call me Sid. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Koopos, just how Moogles in Final Fantasy games punctuate their sentences. Koopo these nuts. Oh my god, Ken. Hi, Chan! Hello, hello! Are you attuning to the pussy? Are you tuning to me? Can we get an attune in the chat? Follow Ken's lead. We have 243 attunes. A gift from the backyard. Iconic. For your service. Yo, uh, if... Next time I bend over in front of my boyfriend, I'm just gonna say a gift from the backyard. Blimey, these take me back. <laughs> I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Aww. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. 
He'd nab him right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy. Not in the day. I love that everyone is so like. Yeah, everyone is so like. Claude, tell the great. Well, not even grateful, but like thankful. And love so honoring each other you. in this game. Like the people of the hideaway love well, to honor each other, and that's so. At least. Thanks, Sid. Makes me you feel warm on the inside. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last. I'm attuned, all right. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Mm. Them old apples were enough to curdle your guts. These beauties are sweet. So the old apples were bad, but these ones are nice and sweet. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I guess I just gotta run this way. Chat, I'm so fucking tired, and I still have to finish my laundry and tidy up my bed. Oh, I think this is gonna be these. This is gonna be one of those nights and where sit. I don't. I just put all my clothes on the floor and I hate doing that. I hate putting my clothes on the floor just to like clear my bed so I can sleep. But like, gotta do what you gotta do, you know? When you're too tired, what else are you gonna do? Hey, yo, hey, yo, he got the titties out and everything. Look at those nipples. Oh, so this game, they're allowed to have nipples, but in Final Fantasy 14, nipples are forbidden. Unfair. A crime, truly. The curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her after all these years. Oh. I suppose she was very kind, <laughs> even to a tongue tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? Well, she, she lives on through her work. trees. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? I'm just trying to get some coin. I'm just trying to get my XP and this game is fucking beating me down. It's wearing me thin. Beat me to a pulp. I got apples in my chambers. I got apples in my chambers. A basket of slightly stunted, somewhat sweet apples grown from the blighted earth thanks to the dedication and perseverance of one woman. Martel, may she rest in peace. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. It's fucking fruit, man! I don't even remember Marta! <laughs> I don't even remember who that was! And I'm crying like a baby! What the fuck? <laughs> Cry over the bird. 
I cry over the fruit. What the fuck is next? I cry over the sailboat. Oh. What do you what do you mean? Why can't I go anywhere else? Oh, okay. Oh. I wouldn't feel bad she was white. Okay. Oh. oh my god, is she the one that I got? She's the one that I got soil? She's the one that I got soil for? All oh, the ominous music. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. I guess you could say you needed his Besides, eye. He has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. What is it, boy? I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Shiva Core? We will face it together then. To the end. What is it? What is it, boy? Come on. What what he snimf? What he snimfing? Sniffer. <laughs> How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visited oh, I didn't even I didn't even see the other the one down there. Started the village of Amber. <laughs> I am thunder. What did I do? Is it from getting um, multiple enemies with that? No, but I've done that. I've done that before. Or maybe like in succession? I need a Waldo Torgal cosplay. I'd have to roll him around in dirt. <laughs> There's more. That's no, okay. Wait, someone told me to jump off a cliff and hold X. Does this count? Nothing happened. Why was I? Oh, I am boogie. Why was I told to do that? Oh, he liked that. Oh, he liked that. Oh, I got his good spot. Oh, with Ambrosia. Ambrosia, okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Would they Let's fly? Go. Will she fly? We're not alone. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, yeah, I'm trying Straight to thank you. Now. That's so cute. That's so cute. It's so good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, is it just me or has like Clive's voice lines gotten like a lot deeper and more aggressive? 
And I know he seems some shit, so it only like makes sense. He's like older and everything too, but he's more he's more aggressive. The more moves he learns, the more voice lines he says, I think. I I mean, yes, but I don't think that's that's not necessarily what I mean because I use um the Phoenix stuff all the time. Like I've never heard him say enough. Like he like this is this is a this is an angry man. You know? That and the stay down, like I have never heard those ones before. Good girl. Love it. So you're telling me that I can just farm Clive saying good girl by hopping on and off my chocobo? Whoever's idea it was to have Clive say good girl deep into my headset? Thank you. That was a gift that I did not know I needed. After all of that crying, I think this is what I deserve. This is my treat. This Safe. is my treat. Get your ass back here. Come on. I'll take it. Straight I'll take now. it. I'll take it. Let's let's see let's see how long it takes for me to hear it again. Nothing! Be safe. You give me nothing this time! The game knows. They're like, nah, 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 no voice lines for this bitch. Good girl. Thank you. Thank you. Ben Star, I just wanna say. Thank you for all the work that Straight you've done. Now. Clive has big boobs. He says, good girl. And he's kind of a himbo sometimes. Honestly, we've won. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you. Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Hmm. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. I can't stop thinking about Clive saying good girl. I'm trying to pay attention oh, to the, to the plot. This small. Like, I know the Black Shields it's are here, but... Then they must be here for something oh, else. Man. You fancy dancing a gallows Jumbo, like thank you for the raid. Son. Hello, hello. My Boy, name is Syrah. Yeah, I'm playing Final Fantasy 16. I hope you had a great stream. What did you get up to? Now we just need Clive to say faster and Syrah will be set. Oh my god. Stop! Stop! You're right! Don't be so loud. Clayton, hello, hello. Hi, Veal. I will be playing Baldur's Gate 3. I'm hoping to start my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough on Monday. So, be prepared. Oh, you're also playing Final Fantasy 16? Hell yeah. Are you ahead of me? I would assume so since you're raiding where I'm at. 
He has different voice lines, yeah, but he says it a lot. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be riding that chocobo very often for reasons that don't just quicken my um face. <laughs> no, not y'all fucking clocking me. Not y'all clocking this. There it is, been waiting for it. Okay, good, I'm off on Monday. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm hoping to have a nice long stream on Monday, so be prepared. Are you gonna make Void in Baldur's Gate? I could. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play as myself. I'm gonna make me, um, but I also could do a Void playthrough. I actually did make her. I opened up, um, did I show you, chat? I don't, I don't know if I did, but I opened up the game just to use the character creator at one point and I in fact made her let me show you Ta -da! this was the best I could do this was the best that I could do with the tools given to me but that's my girl that's my tiefling girl so for those of you that don't know I play I play a lot of D&D I love D&D um this is our D, D server let me show you let me show you my girl there this is void aka azura she is my tiefling warlock and i love her very very much she's i want to say she's like chaotic good but i think she's more um new she's like true neutral she's honestly true neutral start off um Chaotic neutral is now more on the true neutral side, um, but is slowly, slowly dipping into good territory. <laughs> I'm slow over Void's art. I know she's, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's quite the looker. She is quite the looker to say the least. I, I love this woman. She's one of the few OCs that I have that doesn't entirely look like me. Um, she's got the long, thick black hair. She's got the thick eyebrows. Um, but she's got plumper lips and her nose is a more condensed version of mine. Um, I like to think that she has like the facial structure of Megan Fox. Like she's got that kind of like, you know, like, but very cat-like, very, very cat-like features, like very like, you know? Um, I love her. I fucking love her. Bro, what the hell? I have seven ads? Subscribe, and then you'll have none. I'm so sorry. I just finished a homebrew campaign, but I start another using the Final Fantasy XIV quest line. Yo, that sounds lit. That sounds fucking lit. I don't know. I think if we painted you purple and gave you horns, it'd be close enough. I should do a void cosplay. I should do that. I do have horns for her, though. I don't know. If, I don't remember where I put them. I dropped my stuff. We're not going to talk about that. Um, but yeah, I have horns that I put on my my headset when we play. <laughs> I should. Then I will. For y'all, I will. Wait. Here. Let me do. Let me do a quick side by again. Side by side. I'm sure I could do a better job, but here. Boom. Boom. Not bad. <laughs> Honestly, not that bad. She may not have the long hair here because I don't really like the Baldur's Gate like long hair, but I kind of slayed. <laughs> second chat this was linked to me i just want to know what's going on I, f's in the chat for charismatic they're stuck in ads and have no idea why they're here i don't know if i can handle demonic syra why that's just me though 
My players are a reaper, a machinist, a black mage, and a dark knight. Gonna have fun seeing them struggle with no healers. Oh, do you, um... Oh, you're a, um, a DM. Or GM, I guess. If you want to go by whichever title. This higher end slang name a more iconic duo? Listen. Listen. I can name a few more iconic duos. I'm not that iconic. <laughs> I feel like I bring down my own, like... My own value just by being me. <laughs> dancing a gallows jig like the Miller's son. Hey, yeah. All right. I heard you the first. Okay, so I can speak You're with this merchant. Home, aren't you? But not the other ones? Okay, let's see. And none of these are going to be better than what I have. Oh, night terrors. Interesting, interesting. Elixir. Instantly restores all HP. Yo, that's huge. Sell all valuables. Okay, I do have. I suppose okay. we'll be seeing you again. Side. Speak with several of the villagers. Okay. Does it? Do they have to have something on Run above their head? Now. Before one of the boys starts thinking you're something you're not. Oh, I do. Okay, I see. I see. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The black shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? Yes. At least Hard I to think mess. It was a black shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? But what do you think? Amber's the arsen to nowhere. And they thought we might be arboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned him in and become a black shield myself. Oh. That's a okay. Alright, let's go find this other person to talk to. I used to play, but decide DMing would be more fun. That's fucking cool. I wish I had, like, the confidence to DM. I would much rather, like, write fanfic than have to, like, micromanage a whole bunch of people. You know what I mean? I have so much respect for DMs. Was part of your charm? Thank you, Mango. Lady Sire did slay the Bjorben hordes of the Northern Territories. Bjorben? What's a Bjorben horde? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a Black Shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. Mm. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Alright, speak with the locals. What do I... Just more people that I have to. Oh, here we go. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? Oh, everyone well, here is so grim. Those imperial soldiers who were here earlier. <laughs> Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. Why? The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceween's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. 
Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well... Presumably us. They are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? Us? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Okay, chat, I will be right back. My very own Torgal is right beside me, begging for water or food or something. Is that right? Just wake up and now you're thirsty? Come here. Come here. Hello. Hello. How's your nose? Nose is looking better. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Yeah, 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 you Mama. Oh, the baby. Oh, the baby. My big fluffy baby. Shout boy. Thank you for lurking, Jumbo. I appreciate it. He's giving him homosexual thoughts, as he should. Hi. Does this feel nice? That feel nice? That feel nice to you? Hi. Okay, yeah. The way he just leaned into those pets, I know. He's so, he's so, he's such an, yes, mama, yes, mama. <laughs> well, I'll get up in a second. For now, I'm going to let him enjoy these little, uh, scritches. Yes. Yes, puppy. Oh, my puppy. <laughs> I'm sorry that he's hiding behind me. I wish I could, like, show you guys him a bit better. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Okay. All right, let me see what he wants. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, we'll play for, I think, a little bit longer, and then I'm going to hop off. I'm getting very tired, and I'm sure most of you can relate. Obviously, this is, like, you know, more streamer relevant. 
But sometimes I get to a stage in my sleepiness where I just can't entertain anymore, you know, like... This pass will take us through the mountains. It just gets I'm harder to... the path to of whoever or whatever lurks here. Stay on, you know? Completely normal thing, but when you're a streamer, it's... It's a little, it's a little different. Because you have to be on all the time. I have to be responsive to the game, responsive to chat, you know? Like, it's a, it's a whole thing. Safe. And so if I'm not feeling it, like, unfortunately... Oh, oh shit. Damn, these guys the exist outside the crystals of those, like, bricks and stuff? You're not going to like it. But yeah, it gets hard. And so sometimes I just have to know my limits. Oops, my bad. It's over. But I am getting better. My streams are now at the bare minimum three hours. So I'm hoping to push that to at least four hours. I think I can do it. I think we can start reaching the four hour mark. I believe in myself. And thank you for the welcome back. I appreciate it. What is... What is that? Wait, what the fuck is that? I can't engage with it until all of these are dead. Sorry, my dog is just wandering around. Just want to make sure he's okay. We love the consistency. Thank you. I do too. I'm trying really hard out here. Oh, I got an item. I got a braid. Bullhorn's braid? Let's see. Here. Increases lunge damage by 5%. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Kind of like the ability boost, though. Prime, hi! I've been good. I've been good. Taking every day, like, you know, men. one day at a time. <laughs> Fucking beauty. I love that ability. But yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. Things have been a little bit slow recently in terms of work and life has been fast paced so i'm i'm excited to see life slow down and and work pick up the pace instead it was a little bit difficult um a few weeks ago i'm in the process of swapping from using fan house full time to using fansly full time i haven't done photo shoots in a hot minute so i'm gonna get on that I think I currently still have a sale going on on my family for $5, so all subs are normally, like, all normal subs are normally 10 bucks, but until, until the 18th, they will be $5. Fun shit. I will be discontinuing a lot of old photo sets on that platform as well. All of the super zesty content uh, will be gone eventually, so... Definitely, you know, uh, I wouldn't say I'm stressed out about that, but it's something that I have to think about. Um, and I have to start marketing it again, which I'm not looking forward to because you all know how the how the internet is with women who, you know, have confidence. Oh, shit, wrong ability. So, yeah. Been a, been a difficult transition is what I'm trying to say, basically. But otherwise, I'm good. <laughs> 
Internet and women? Rough combo. You telling me. Cloud is casually plowing three guys at once, as he should. He's got a really big hole. We've been over this. <sighs> Baby, what the hole do? Ooh, wait. <gasps> oh, my oh my god! What in the Skyrim, bro? Oh my god! Not like this. Wow. Fucking cancel that. Oh, that scared me shitless. Hey, Waldo. Fucking scared me. Oh. Blood, Clive. Yes, you can see that. It's hard to miss. Wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. Oh, I love those artifacts. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I love how protective he is. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, it may be a part of his past, but. Wait, where's the. Where's the. Oh, there it is. But he would never let someone else. Oh my god. I can't even talk chat. Let me just let me just get these guys. Let me just get these guys. But like he's loyal. He's loyal to his to his um to his home, to his people. You know? I love it. Even though he has like a new cause now and everything. Did Jill just shout, don't stop? This game, this game, this game is testing me. It is testing me and my horny limits. <laughs> Still here. Interrogation? Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Beauty. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you? We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> they await you in Ordil. Guardians of the Flame. <laughs> To. Those are old hills gates. Then we hurry. I, wait, I'm. I'm confused. But Jill is white. Why would she make you horny? You got me there. You got me there. Hey, look, listen, listen. I don't discriminate all the time. <laughs> Your horniness has no limits, don't lie to us and act like it does. Listen, I want you to believe that I am capable of being sane and put together, okay? Bonk the streamer, thank you. Thank you for bonking me, mage. It's what I deserve. All right. I'm debating if I actually want to 
Press on or save this bit for tomorrow. What do you think, chat? What do you think? Or not tomorrow, sorry. Oh no, no it wouldn't even be Monday because my next stream I'm playing Baldur's Gate. All right, you know what? I just answered my own question. I have no choice. <sighs> Baldo's not that happy about it because I think he's waiting for a W-A-L-K. He's laying right beside me. Oh, look at him, look at him. He's waiting so patiently. You know, Waldo is such a sweetheart, but look, I have I have games to play, bud, you know? <laughs> Find something, boy. Death. The stinky burnt bodies, rotten corpses. Hanged bodies. Hmm. Uh. How long have they been there? was my mother's doing oh my god but why why would anyone i don't know i never truly understood her but this oh, clive he has so much family trauma Dad, his brother, his I mom. What madness drives her? Oh. And I will end it. Oh. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. I was gonna say, we can won't. we at least burn them? But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. Oh. Oh. God, this game is fucking grim. And like, don't get me wrong, I love it. I love this shit. I eat this shit up. It's just, sometimes I don't always anticipate the game to go as far as it does. We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosabeth. Not that that's like a bad thing. Oh. Can't heal me when I'm uh, mounted. Yeah. Ugh, those like close-up shots, man. I love it. Like I fucking I love it. I can walk from here. Didn't happen to come by way of Old Hill, did you? Uh, Saw some Imperials yeah. clad in black making for the docks just the other day. The next morn, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. What a dark fucking world they live in. I, I hate this. But this is their home. Oh. Aw, oh, they were driven out. Don't go thinking you'll find refuge in the houses outside Port Isolde. The place is a wretched mm. hive of thieves and blackguards. Literally driven out. Okay. My boy can't heal me. I only I don't even have any potions left. I'll be fine. I say as I go into combat and will likely get really hurt, because I always forget to dodge. All yours, Torres. Take too 
any risk. Literally, what did I just say, Jill? What did I just say? I know I take too many risks, but listen, I'm stubborn. I may be ouchy, but that's okay. It's part of my charm. Woohoo! Bubble attack! He got bubbles! Oh, hey, there's a gem on the ground. For sure, thanks. It's over. Time to fight. No potions, no problem. I don't need potions. I don't need potions. To me, boy. Torgal healed zero HP. Thank you. Thank you, Torgal. Hi, Liz! How are you? My hair looks pretty. Thank you. Oh, Limit Break heals me? It does? Maybe I, should. I should definitely be using my LB more. I always forget to. It's pretty bad. Chillin' though. We're chillin' though. You know what? Do we use it now? No. Not against the boss. <laughs> Went from sunny days and drives uh, through the bright crystal laden countryside to this. I know. To just. Well, okay, look. This aesthetic I love. I love the grim, spooky ooky. The Lazarus. You know. What happened to this place? Zones like this? My mother happened. But knowing what they once were, that's, that's, that's what gets me. Better. That's what gets me, you know? The before and after. Cool, I fucking got no one in that. Provides the cartoon band-aids, what a good boy, I uh, know. He's doing his best, and honestly, I can't be mad. Let's just let's just let's just get going. Let's just get going. Ready, go. Because I'm gonna keep getting distracted by with like fight like the lit. I'm just gonna keep getting distracted with fucking up enemies, and we got That's we got some gate. some plot that to like continue. We're not the only ones hoping to get in. Some plot to dive into, rather. Let's see, can we go this way, or is it completely locked up? You know what game I really want to play again? I want to replay um, Outlast and Outlast 2. Maybe for October we can bring back uh, the Spookyathons. I used to marathon horror games back in the day. And honestly, I would not mind doing that again. Rest. Bring back Outlast, Resident Evil. Phasmophobia? How could I forget playing Phasmophobia with y'all all the time? What an era. <laughs> Let us pass! My children are starving! Have mercy. Voice rinse dogs, they are! You can't ignore us forever! Last end, who would die on your doorstep? Just 
No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. You're telling me those guardsmen couldn't see us? <laughs> I did see some other gates. Are we gonna go try and like melt them down? I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. Smart. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. Okay. If you're sure, the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? No. <laughs> Definitely not. As long as it is abandoned. Uh, there is something in there. There is absolutely something in there. All right. The good news this... is we haven't seen a single black shield since old. <laughs> Super Day. safe. What could Maybe go wrong? Found who they were looking for. All right. This is where we're going to call it chat. I cannot hold back the yawns anymore. I can't contain them. I'm just a sleepy gal. Oh, this game is so good. This game is so, so good. I, I'm very glad that I'm getting deeper into the narrative. I'm glad that things are consistently surprising me and picking up the pace, picking up the pace. It feels like every time I play this game, something happens. Something happens, you know? I never I never have a stream where I'm like, yeah, played a bit of, played a bit of Final Fantasy 16 and I guess it was okay. It's like, no, I cried or no, like the plot thickened or whatever. Oh, I beat a boss. You know, like there's always something going on like every 3 hours I find of like game like gameplay. And that's doing all the side quests and, you know, all my silly, like, running arounds and stuff, right? Um, it's nice. It's really nice. So, unfortunately, we will not be playing uh, Final Fantasy 16 on Monday. We'll be playing Baldur's Gate 3. So, so, if you're interested in watching some Baldur's Gate 3 shenanigans, I highly recommend returning to hang out with me on Monday. Otherwise, if you just want more Final Fantasy 16, then I will see you on Wednesday. Good night, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me on social media that we can stay up to date with up to date with all of my shenanigans. Yeah, we're at 11 cries. I've cried 11 times so far in this game. I know I'm going to cry some more. <laughs> so let's see if we can hit the 20s, yeah? Bye everyone. Good night.